also in the same beat about being moms. We have Kambua who's talking about the effects or the changes that happen after you have a baby. <laughs> it it, it, it kind of turned, uh, you know, it was her sharing her experience, how she experienced a lot of hair loss. It used to fall out in chunks after every pregnancy to the point where she told the hairdresser, cut it all off. And the hairdresser said, no, just trust the process. It's going to come back. And this is something I also experienced. What? Let me tell you, especially like during breastfeeding, because when you're pregnant, when you're pregnant, your, your hair, it is locks. It flows freely. You just feel like this goddess diva woman. And it's, it's really nice. You really experience good hair when you're pregnant. But after delivery, and I start breastfeeding, let me tell you, my hairline went whoop. I had no edges. This is like three years in the making. You know, my, my forehead, it, it was, I was a Rihanna 2.0. Like, it was just over here. Like, I couldn't do the, the hair cells I do these days very frequently, where I just like slick back my hair and put an extension. Singe Fanya, I would look bald. Bald. So it was just, an, that was my experience and also my knees. My knees gave out kabisa. Like since I had my child, my knees have never been the same. It's either cracking and popping. It's either something. It's either I can't, they cannot support my body now. And it's just a thing, you know, with your body giving so much to create new life that there's some deficiencies here and here. And after sharing her experience, it kind of turned into like a funny thing and people are contributing and telling their stories about the things they experienced after having a child. And we had Wakavinye, <laughs> who has just, you know, recently had her second baby. And she's saying how her tooth, like yesterday, her tooth just fell off, like just broke. Yeah, just unprovoked. It just, whoo. And that was a thing. I have seen people go to the dentist after having a child and like all your teeth, it's, it's game over. You now have to like do new teeth. What? It's, have you not seen like th that, the, the, there's this really, really funny content creator who has like a list on their notes app, uh, reasons not to get pregnant or have a child. And every time there's like a new thing, she, she goes back the list. At, she's now at like number 300 and something. <laughs> there are so many things that happen what? after you give. There, there's this thing where <laughs> there's this specific medicine that you're given and it could potentially turn you blue. Like all of you blue. And she was like, reason 300 and something, you could become a, a smurf. smurf. You know, that's just how intense things are. Sometimes things down there you like sneeze and you pee at the same time these things happen it really takes a lot of therapy to like get your body back together so anytime you see somebody giving you pressure at its time to now bounce back and the pressure to bounce back to the person you are your whole body is so traumatized it is such a traumatizing feeling and then now you have to get back to who you are you know how to fight to get back to who you were once before, especially the pink part. I, I avoided funny people because you would be laughing and they're just like, oh, okay, uh, I, I laughed and then I laughed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you just made me, there's, a, there's a funny TikTok I watched today as well, just made me realize that, oh yeah, that's actually a good point. Mm -hmm. So this lady is talking about how her husband used to walk like a duck, like mm -hmm. he has this duck walk. Mm -hmm. And she was always asking him, why do you walk like that? Until she got pregnant and her belly is all the way over here. Yes. And now they are the duck family. Mm -hmm. And then she realized, whenever you have a stomach area, your surface area for your stomach is a bit large, it automatically makes you a duck so mm -hmm. she has accepted that they are now the duck family that is so funny and it's so yeah the, the things that happen and even now i've just realized oh okay I, I always do that the reason my partner calls me a penguin is because i have like flat feet and my walking style so every time i'm around him and i have like flat shoes i'm very conscious of the fact that he calls me a penguin because <laughs> <laughs> of my flat feet. But there's so many things that could happen. And then there's stretch marks that come with the territory. Especially those black ones? Exactly. Oh my God. Stretch marks that happen after you have a baby and after you've given birth. There are people who have CS scars, especially, yeah, you have after a C section, you have the scar and from Boy saying she has three CS scars. So that's another thing. It just takes a lot of loving. You look in the mirror and say, but they have changed. So it's time to decide. I'm either going to hit how I look right now or I'm going to figure out how to live with the body I'm in and learn to love myself 
and this new person. Yeah. But like even when you think about all of these things, the things that women actually sacrifice just to have their children, and then you see how your children react to some of these things. Like I've seen videos where a kid will be like flubbing around with your yep. tummy, and you're recording yourself just going, "This child does not understand that this flubby stomach is because of them," mm -hmm. and you just allow them to do it. And I remembered I was asked, uh -huh. that my son was like, "Why is your baby never coming?" And I'm like, "Sir." Go, go to sleep. I don't care if it's 7.30 p.m. Go to bed. It, it's enough. It is so enough for the day. Yeah. And I remember even, even as an older child, some of these things you don't realize until you're like much older and you are experiencing them yourself. I remember my mom used to have these like three to bumps, you know, like if you held her arm you would feel like a little bumpy, bumpy. There were three specifically. I remember either three or five, and I, I can't remember. But if you moved your hand, you would feel that. Mm -hmm. And I was always so intent on just holding my mom and playing around with those things. I didn't understand what they were until much later on is when I'm like, oh my God, it's contraceptives. Because you don't want to have more children. Wow. And there's so many things about motherhood that are just ghetto. Because like I remember my... My my sister in law, yeah, she was telling me she had a C section, but she was telling me that she had like mad pains, like mm -hmm. labor pains, and I'm just like, girl, you had a C section. How you how do you have labor pains? And I've actually come to realize that it's a thing. Even after having a child through C section, yeah. you still get labor pains. And yeah. I'm just like, get out. See, that's how you Let know me the tell you. Coming. No, but like after for, yes. for C section, it's after because she's given birth now you're going through labor pains yeah it's because your uterus has to contract and go back to the original position Girl, get because your uterus Yo! is like this big it's tiny like a normal uterus on a normal day it's tiny but now it has accommodated space and expanded and held this child for nine months so now it's time for the uterus to go back to its original position oh god you experience some sort of do you know what thing. this is why i insist mm -hmm. like it's these story at a mimi nona nika transi a list of reasons to just never do it because wow all of these things you learn and and mothers are so graceful and dainty that they never really tell us all of these traumatizing things that happen after during for some people it's an easy coast right for some people it's very difficult but it's these difficulties that people are so shy about sharing I want to know from you, do you have any experience um, from giving birth during your pregnancy that you feel like people never talk about enough mm -hmm. and yet you experience it so intently but no one really talks about it and you've never told anyone about it? Please let us know. The number is 0770 729 Ulikuwa, like our friend here, Nyuele Ikouku. Magoti imekata. As in, if you, if you stand straight and look at us, we wouldn't know you have hair. You have to do this for us. No, yeah, you have hair. Like, I want to know from you. What was your situation? How did you deal with it? I just, we're not, we're going to laugh with you. But mm -hmm. at the same time, we're going to recognize the pain. It's okay to laugh at yourself. Because, yeah. like, anytime, I, I, I didn't even stop doing lines. Yeah. Like, you know how you do uh, uh, braids. Uh, because at a shika nini, like nyole menzi auku. So unless they do the ones where they pre-braid them and then shikanisha them, and then they just like plaster you like oh this. God. So now, <laughs> so now even when it gets hot, you can just like lift this and scratch your head. <laughs> That's ah, how, this is how ah, ghetto, ah, ghetto, ah. ghetto it is. So before you open your mouth and oh tell somebody, God. oh my God, you're so fat, you know, oh my God, you're so this, oh my God, you have stretch marks. Mm. Can you just stop and consider the things, the things the body has done, the the trauma they've been through? You know you what? You know what? Me, I'm fat by choice. <laughs> Any mother who is fat from pregnancy, eh? I, I commend you. What is my excuse? I have none. Uh -huh. You at least you have something to complain about. What was about. the reason? I, yeah. But now, after four years, it's kind, it's kind of me right now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't just blame this child. No, but like no? a lot of it was brought on by it. Yeah. Let yeah. us know your hilarious <laughs> peeing stories. Like laughing till you pee stories. We want to hear them. Please mm -hmm. let us know. And if, if, if you feel embarrassed, guess what? A lot of people are feeling embarrassed. So let's sure. share this embarrassment all around. So people don't feel like they're alone. Do you yeah. know what I mean? 077 